Daily Devotion with Pastor Bala for July 21st, 2022 from Ezekiel chapter 16, The Bride of Christ, part four. Previously, we heard about God using the illustration of a young woman for the people of Israel, and God marries this young woman, so she becomes, you could say, the Bride of Christ. Previously, she had nothing, but now God has blessed her with many gifts including the gift of this beautiful bridal relationship. From rags to riches, the Cinderella story, so to speak. But then there's a change. God's bride cheats on her husband and follows fake gods and takes all the gifts that God has given to her and ascribes them to fake gods, which then makes God extremely angry Now comes God's judgment upon his bride. From Ezekiel chapter 16, verse 35. Therefore, O prostitute, hear the word of the Lord. Thus says the Lord God, because your lust was poured out and your nakedness uncovered in your whorings with all your lovers and with all your abominable idols and because of the blood of your children that you gave to them, therefore behold, I will gather all your lovers with whom you took pleasure and those you loved with all those you hated. And I will gather them against you from every side and will uncover your nakedness to them that they may see all your nakedness. Verse 38, and I will judge you as women who commit adultery and shed blood are judged and bring upon you the blood of wrath and jealousy. And I will give you into their hands and they shall throw down your vaulted chamber and break down your lofty places They shall strip you of your clothes and take your beautiful jewels and leave you naked and bare. Verse 40, they shall bring up a crowd against you and they shall stone you and cut you to pieces with their swords and they shall burn your houses and execute judgments upon you in the sight of many women. I will make you stop playing the whore, and you shall also give payment no more. So will I satisfy my wrath on you, and my jealousy shall depart from you. I will be calm, and will no more be angry. Notice God's judgment is poured out. They will go into exile. A lot of them will be killed. But then also notice that God's anger is abated. For God's anger is abated when, ultimately, when Jesus dies on the cross for the forgiveness of our sins. Like the people of Israel, we also have not appreciated God's many gifts to us. We have also chased after other things, or you could say fake idols, instead of chasing after the Almighty God. So what should we do when we hear these verses? Well, consider the next verse, Ezekiel chapter 16, verse 43. Because you have not remembered the days of your youth, but have enraged me with all these things, therefore, behold, I have returned your deeds upon your head, declares the Lord God. Have you not committed lewdness in addition to all your abominations? We should remember the days of our youth. That is to remember how God rescued us from the world as referenced earlier in this chapter. So we as Christians, we need to thank God for all his blessings. When we start desiring the things or gifts that others have received, we especially need to thank God for what he has given to us. Because when we start coveting other things, it leads us down a dark path away from God. It's like taking the gifts of God and saying, God, you didn't do enough for me. You need to do more. But God has indeed blessed us. We also need to remember that faith itself is a gift from God. And we are nothing without God's gifts of faith. So we need to cherish 
the gift of faith and the many gifts that God has blessed us with and not covet the gifts of others, but instead to appreciate what God has indeed blessed us with. God's peace and many blessings be with you. And thank you for listening. And please take an opportunity to share this message with others. If you have enjoyed these daily devotions, please consider making a donation to Peace Lutheran Church, 24024 West Main Street, Plainfield, Illinois, 60544. Thank you again for listening.